So when I got here, I heard a lot about this thing called a YES program at Hillwood Middle School. So why don't you tell me a little bit about the program and how it helps our, our kids here? Well, YES stands for Year End Studies. It's a program that we started last year here at Hillwood, and so this will be our second year to go through the program. And it was really an opportunity for us to kind of throw out the curriculum the last week of school, and it's really built on teachers' passions. Mm -hmm. So the classes are built, teachers um, develop a project for the week, and then the students get to select from a list of projects, and they don't know who the teacher is that's doing the project. So it's really very natural. It's, there's no, oh, I wanna be with this teacher gotcha. that week. So they could be with a teacher they don't even know. Most of our groups take field trips and they get to go out in the community and spend the week out kind of seeing different things. People talk about soft skills and they talk about, I mean, well, obviously we spend a lot of time with academics, um, but there's this conversation right now in education of how, how do we prepare kids for that, the other things they need to know about when mm -hmm. they get out into the, into the world after graduation. So is that, is that part of the reason why we're doing the yes, this YES program mm -hmm. is to, to help create those soft skills yeah. in kids? Uh, definitely, because the kids are getting the opportunity not only to work with teachers they may not know, but they're also in groups of students that may not have been in class with for nine months. So they're having to learn to work with students they're not familiar with and right. do group work. They're also going out there and they're learning to um, to be a part of the community. So sure. they're getting to do service. We have groups that are working with Alzheimer's patients. Mm -hmm. We have students that are it's cooking amazing. and taking uh, dinners to the nurses at Cook's Children's. Or we have 80 kids that are gonna be learning how to build furniture and then to kind of build on those soft skills. The last day of our YES week is called the POL, the Presentation of Learning. And our students are getting to present all the things they learn to our community members and their parents. So the kids get a day to show off their knowledge and present themselves of the community and interact with adults in a positive light. So, so as we finish up what this visioning process mm -hmm. is for the year, I think one of the things we're gonna have to talk about is what, so beyond academics, Keller's great at academics. So mm -hmm. beyond academics, what, what are the other things that our kids need to really learn? And, and, and I've heard that from our community members and our business members is, you know, they, they, need, to, they need to understand creative problem solving and, and critical thinking and mm -hmm. working with others. And, mm -hmm. and when things are hard, how do you manage that that process. So um, I think you, you figure that kind of stuff out through these kinds of examples mm -hmm. that, that Hillwood is doing. And, and it's great. I think the kids really enjoy getting to see a different side of their educate as their teachers as well. That's right. So they're getting to see not just my English teacher, but this person has passions outside of yeah. out of school and how do those passions, what are they learning from their teachers outside of just, like I said, the basic knowledge that they learn every day. That's awesome. So that's been a great, uh, you know, relationship building experience. Sometimes you make those relationships right. and you can carry on right. as they move on. So it's been great. Yeah. I would like to give you the first official invitation awesome. that we're giving out this year. Thank you. Um, our final day of the YES program is May 24th and on that day that's when the students do their presentation of learning. Great. So we would like to invite you and any members of the community who want to come see what our kids are doing out on May 24th here at Hillwood at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm.